Ladies and gentlemen, it is a glorious day because we got ourselves Lady Chomp! Yes, that's right. You thought it was going to be named Chomper, huh? Yeah, probably did. <clears throat> anyway, I'm still a tad bit out of it. So we're going to take it slow. Going to take it nice and slow. This uh, session, I got to record a bunch actually because I'm going to be gone for a little while. Who knows when this episode will be coming out. Oh, but, oh, this feels, this feels powerful. This feels right. Oh, yes. Oh, I gotta test this out, baby. I, I gotta test this out. We gotta find just the right thing to test this. Yes. Do you guys see that right over there? Oh, beautiful. That's perfect. Oh, I didn't even know that was there. Oh, I already had a stamina. <clears throat> oh, yeah, I tried Ceratops, too. Wait. Oh, there's two of them. Okay. Mmm. What? They're glowing red. Is that a part of their thing whenever a T Rex shows up? Or a predator in general? I haven't seen them do that to like raptors or anything. You know what? Screw it. Eat! Devour! Destroy! Ah, yeah. You're locked in, aren't you? Good for you. Death. Destruction. You ain't going nowhere, son. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. I'm not quite done yet. My just Lady Chomp's reign of destruction is not over. Huh? You think you're hot shit? You think you can do something with your red aura, don't you? Oh. Well, I guess you did do something. Good for you. Alright, people. <clears throat> we have a lot of stuff to cover today. Uh, mostly because I've made a, a bunch of changes. And whatnot, and we also got, I got a little, a little couple surprises along the way. Uh, throw that out of there, we don't need that. <clears throat> I'm really excited to show you it, alright? So first surprise, let's just jump into that right away. Hope you'll like it. <clears throat> yes, turn on. Yes, we're at the fabricator. That means that there's something very special that we're gonna make. Uh-huh. That's right. We're going to make the motorboat. Oh, my goodness gracious. Jo golly gee willikers. Uh, it took so much freaking work. Like, the like, like the making of all the ingots, getting all the obsidian polymer, that was one thing. Getting the black pearls, though, like, uh, Otley picked up the slack on that one, y'all. And, you know, uh, Mo too, also did a bit. But it was mostly Otley, to be honest. Uh, okay. Let's make that motorboat 69, by the way, in case you missed it. There was a 69 right there. But, uh, <clears throat> make the, oh, wow, that ate up a lot of stuff. Wow, okay. <clears throat> motorboat me. Motorboat me. Motorboat me. Give it to me. Thank you. How nice. Oh, wow, that was heavy. Okay, <clears throat> I also learned why I couldn't put platforms on the boat initially. It was because I was standing on it. You know, it's like one of those things that you learn about. And it's like, uh... Oh, oh, so beautiful. Yeah, like I was saying, it's one of those things that you learn about in crafting and whatnot that when you start hammering a nail in with a hammer, usually you don't put your thumb in the way. You know, usually a good idea. Okay, it needs gasoline. <clears throat> Is this done cooking? Is this done cooking? Please tell me it's done cooking. Yes, thank you. Take both of those. All right. <clears throat> so let's, uh, we got plenty of gasoline. Don't you worry, kids. Now, um, put that right in here. Thank you. Okay, let's just take one stack for now. Okay. Right there, beautiful. Okay, so uh, tell you what, people, uh, let's uh, we're gonna we're gonna pilot around this motorboat, but uh, for for now, let's just uh, I need you guys uh, I need to show you guys something real quick. Yeah, you know, just just a quick second, all right. First and foremost, we uh, have the the base that's set up at the cave. Uh, as you can see, I've uh, I touched it up a little bit <clears throat> instead of just having the regular spike balls. 
I put in uh, some wooden gates along with some torches and stuff like that. So uh, that's all set up to be fairly nice and whatnot. The thing that I'm mostly worried about that I wanted to bring up was the fact that um, Carrie and Sarah are hugely lacking behind in levels. Like, I think something I've found out is that um, the more that tames are like surrounded by other tames, they just passively gain levels. And these two have been like, like these three, if we want to count that one, have been sitting here for a long time, and they're hugely lacking in levels. Like. Carrie's kind of picked up the slack because Carrie's been the one I've looked, relied on to go in there and, like, kill stuff and whatnot. And, uh, then we got, uh, Sarah, one of the, the one that should not be in this position, one of the cast, and yet, here, here she is. It's sad. Sarah deserves more than this. You know what? You follow me, Artie. We're gonna take Sarah right here. Open up. Thank you. Sarah, you're heading back to home base, all right? You're going to be joining your friends. Been away for so long. God knows how long. And uh, you know what? Mr. Thicknose is going to come out over here, all right? You know why? Because Mr. Thicknose is already at a fairly decent level. And, he, and Mr. Thicknose has done nothing. Mr. Thicknose will do nothing. Except be friendly with Carrie, I guess. Uh huh? Uh huh? Yeah, pump it up. Pump it up. Let's roll! Woo! Charge in! Ah, uh, yes! Destroy! Wreck! Oh, or I ran out of juice. Oh well. So at least I found out that that's a decent sprint. Let's do it again! Pump it up! Pump it up! To the maximum! <gasps> okay, never mind. Artie, Artie, did you stop Sarah from destroying shit? And go! Yes! Power incarnate. Oh, I'm glad I found this out. This is beautiful. Oh, okay. Thank you for that, then. Alright, we're gonna take care of that Mr. Thicknose stuff later. Let's, uh, let's test this baby out, shall we? Alright, it's on. We're gonna... What? Artie? Uh, Artie, you're sliding off a bit. Artie? Oh, this is looks awkward. Artie, maybe you should be flying. Maybe that would be easier on you, Artie. Here. You go right here. Um, I'm definitely gonna have to think about putting some stuff on here as, like, to, uh, to make sure that this, uh, runs properly. You know, like, put some railings around it so people don't fall out or something. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, I'm liking the speed, though. Yes, this feels great. This feels good. This feels perfect, almost. Let's head over to the, uh, the Wii base right over there that we sent the second caravan to. And, uh, I'll show you some changes that I've made there. You know what? Let's, uh, let's try this again. Maybe Artie won't slide off, uh, into oblivion. <clears throat> Come on. Let's get that speed up. What? Okay, Artie apparently is ruining it. All right, Artie, I guess uh, you're going to have to follow behind. Hope you don't mind. Woohoo! Yes! This is the only way to cross the ocean. Uh, I love the the wind in my hair and Otley getting getting wind in his eyes because he doesn't quite understand the concept of uh, blistering wind in his face. But uh but, uh, we're almost there already. This is beautiful. Artie? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Ooh, wow. Wow, is this really that fast, or is Artie that slow? Okay, guys, I've gone way on ahead, and I think I've completely lost Artie. Oh, boy. Now I'm actually worried. Cannot see Artie at all. <clears throat> uh, uh... Uh, I think I looked it up in that flyers can't increase movement speed, so I think that's out of the question. I sure hope Artie doesn't disappear from existence, or die, or anything like that. Artie! Artie, where'd you go? Uh, I'm trying to find- oh, 
saw that wingspan. I was like, oh, wow. Okay. Isn't this the last spot we were at? Artie? Don't tell me Artie's gone forever. That's the last thing I need. Oh, for Pete's sake, where did Artie go? Oh my god, no! No! Artie! You guys saw that too, right? Okay then. Let's turn this off for right now, shall we? Yeah, let's let's turn that off. We'll come back to that later. Also, Artie has a level up apparently. Let's just go the normal way, all right? Let's just leave the boat right fucking there. That's the right place to leave the boat, right? Okay. Let, let's hang out with Artie for a bit because uh, she literally just came back into existence apparently. Ah, uh, yes, here we are, back at the three pillars. Alright, <clears throat> so, even at a first glance, you can tell, uh, I've already done some touching up around here. <clears throat> Let's see. We got Eddie, we got Polly, we got Cassie, who's actually been... Dang it, Artie. Artie, come here. Touchdown, please. Yeah, already gave it away. There's some crops right over here. Just a tiny bit, really. Just enough. You know, just enough. Uh, how's the compost coming along? Perfect. I'll take that. Uh, what else have I done around here? Uh, put a thing there. Uh, in the back, yeah. Put a forge back here so we could smelt some stuff. Um, mostly because uh, Cassie works as a smithy, so that's really good. And Eddie works as an alchemy table. So, uh, yeah, that's all going fairly well. Yeah. <clears throat> this one isn't so bad. Pretty modest, in my opinion, but... Pretty good, pretty good. I got one more big surprise for you people, though. Just a second. Oh, wait. I know what we should do. Uh, just hold on a sec. Is, uh... Is it here? Is our boy hanging out here? We can't miss it. It's always here, in this very location. And it's gotta be around anywhere. Oh, hey, uh, spike rate. Wait. <gasps> Guys, you see that? You guys, you see it? Look! It's one of the... It's my, one of my old thatch places! Yeah, check it out! I almost completely forgot about this. Wow, that, that feels like ages ago, doesn't it? Is the backside, like, completely broken in? Yeah, that was a crap of sutras, y'all. Oh, memories, memories, yeah. Good times, good times. Uh, now, where is, uh, where's, uh, where's our big boy? There's no way we can miss it. I'm waiting to... There it is! There, ladies and gentlemen, is Crag Olapolis. Yes. Uh, it's, a, it's your boy, Crag Olapolis. Ah. Uh, or girl, who cares. Look at it! Look at it! Hey, check it out, we're here at Littlefoot. Isn't that cool? And, uh, last surprise of the day? Boofy! Yes, ladies and gentlemen. We got ourselves a, uh, a buizel I, I can't say it, guys. <clears throat> I've heard that this is quite a unique little mount. Uh, let me just take that, whatever. Okay. What's this thing's deal, then? Hop. Alright, that's a pretty high jump. It's not bad. Oh, that seemed to hurt a little bit. Um. What? What the? Ribbit. Wait, you guys see that? Yeah, t tongue attacks. That's what I'm talking about. Beautiful. Ah. Why is it that every time you hop... You hurt yourself. Uh, okay. So, uh, <clears throat> gonna have to invest in health if that's gonna keep being a freaking problem. And now it's raining. Beautiful. Okay. So, you're gonna hang out with Littlefoot for a little while, alright? Don't worry, Boofy. Don't worry, Boofy. 
you're going to be all right. Don't you worry. All right. <clears throat> so, I'm going to have to find what else we're going to have to tame for next time, people. See you next time.